Hello everyone, my name is Eldar Svedum, I'm a solution specialist from Ergosoft and today I'm here with you to talk about spot colors and how to do color replacement. In Ergosoft you will find Pantone libraries that you normally find on your design software. This will make it easier to make the color replacement. Besides that, you are going to see how to do color replacement with any other color library that you have done. So stay tuned and let's check how to do it. Here we are at the Job Composer. Before we start to see how to do the color replacement, just let me tell you that exist different ways how to do it. And it can be done with uh, spot colors, with RGB or semi-key colors, and even with LED. So the uh, color replacement can be done for different types of colors. But before I start, just let me show you here in the swatch book. As you can see, in Ergosoft you will find the most common uh, Pantone libraries that normally uh, are the ones that you will find on your uh, design software. That will allow you to make your life easier when we will come to Pantone color replacement. So after showing you this, let's start with the color replacement. So the first thing I'm going to do is to import a file. Here he have a file that contain three spot colors and the software after you import the file, we'll analyze the file and we'll find if there are any spot colors and we'll allow you to do some color replacement for them. So for example, if you import file, select it, come to properties and actions and go to replace spot colors, as you can see, the software will display the spot colors inside of the file. One of the purpose for the color replacement is to allow you to replace the color to get the correct output. So for example, right now we are talking about Pantone colors. And normally the Pantone colors, he, they have a reference color that you want to match. But sometimes when you print the file, you will see that the color is not matching your sample. So you can do the color replacement to achieve the desired color. So let me show you how you can do that. So here we have a tool named name it Colors. So let's open it. I already have here some colors, but you will not use them for now. So we are talking that this Pantone, the 7692, is not being printed correctly. So what you're going to do? You're going to our swatch book so to our libraries, let's go to our Pantone solid coated and let's look for that Pantone. So 7692, here it is. So let's select it and apply. You can close now the swatch book. Now we have our Pantone on the named colors. And as you can see here on the right side, there is the output recipe for this print environment and the LAB value for the reference of the color. So we know that this recipe that's been printed is not correct. So you can come here to this tool right here that's called print similar colors and you can use it to try to find the correct output. So let's see how it works. Here on the left you have the color variations. Let me just bring it down so you can see the recipe. So the first thing you're going to choose is the ink channel that you want to use for the different color variations. So I will select cyan and let's say that on this case I want to get some variations with the magenta channel as well. Then you have the number of colors and the color steps that you want to use. So let me open here the settings menu so you can see it and understand it better. So the number of colors is defined right here. So you can choose the number of patch that you want to be printed 
or generated for this chart. So in this case you have selected few, so it means that will just give us two variations. But later on we'll change it to medium. That will mean that we'll have four patch in every direction. Then here on the top color steps that you have it here, you have for every channel the chance to select what is the value for the steps that you want. So fine by logic is the smallest number, that means a small percentage of difference of between the colors. Medium you have 5 by default, uh, that is a 5% difference between the colors, and white 10. So it means that colors with fine will be more similar, with medium will be uh, a little more uh, uh, far away from each other, and white that they will have a bigger difference. So I will leave it like this. But now I will choose median number of colors. So we have at least a uh, white mid range uh, recipe colors that you can look. So let's create the job. And right now the software is creating some variations that you have there. And at this point you can just close this, click OK. And now let's check this chart. Let, let's make some zoom in. So after you have created this chart, you would print it. And after print, you could check all the color recipes and see if you find one that match your desired output. And for the purpose of this video, I will choose this one right here. So I'm supposing that this patch right here is the correct output for the Pantone I have chosen. So what you're going to do now is open the name and color, select our Pantone, and now we have to change the output recipe to the one matching here on the patch. So the cyan is 85, magenta is 38, yellow 14, and black 32. So now I will just click OK. I can close this job. And if I come now to back to my file, I can select my pen tone, go to the name and color, that's right here, select the pen tone that he had correct, and apply. So now, the Pantone has been replaced by a color that we are already sure that is printing with the correct output that he desired. So this is one of the goals from color replacement. Of course, that this color replacement can be done automatically. If you have already created your color library on the name of colors, where you correct your colors, afterwards the software will recognize the spot colors that you had on your files and replace them automatically for the correct output. So that's one of the goals of color replacement. Well, now let's see other kinds of color replacement that you can do. And for that, let me just import another two files. So this one, for example, that is a T file. If you come here to replace colors, you cannot see nothing. But if you click on show colors, the software will show us the colors that are on this file. So in this case, you have this blue, this pink, and this yellow. Now, if you want to do some color replacement, you can do it in different ways. So for example, I can select here the blue, and I can use the color pick that will allow me to look for a color based on LEP, RGB, or even based on output recipe of my printer. Just for an example, let me select here just the green, so you can see how it is applied. Let me just remove it.
and apply again and you're back to our image. So another way to use it could be just selecting our colors, open the swatch book and go to our libraries and select a desired color from here. So for example I could just com, select my Pantone color that I desire, apply, apply to the file and here it is. Of course at the same time I could use the named colors and for example I can use the color that I know the real output and I can simply just replace it as well. And I could even just come to measure color and connect my spectrophotometer device and measure a color from a real sample and use that color for being the replacement. And another thing that I want to show you on the color replacement is for example on this file that is a PDF file that in this case contains one Pantone color that you have here on replace spot colors but the same because the software supports the color replacement for spot colors, semi-key, RGB and LED colors I will come here to replace semi colors and I can see here the colors that are on semi-key color space so I could easily just select them